Hi, this is Dan from 123 News, and in this video we're going to look at the last of our widgets for this month, and that is the Bizarre Video Widgets. Bizarre is a video hosting website, similar to YouTube. So if you use Bizarre to host your videos, these few widgets will help you to put your Bizarre videos inside your Muse website. So let's take a look at them. So again, I've opened up Muse on a blank homepage, and I'm going to open up our library. And we're going to go into this month's library. And the bottom three widgets are the Vizar widgets. The first widget we're going to look at is the Vizar video player. So we're going to drag that onto the screen. Just line it up in the top left. The first thing that we notice when we drag the Vizar video player widget onto the screen is that it opens up with a graphic. Now this is a poster HTML graphic that is rendered just in the design screen of Muse. This is just to give a point of reference of what the video player will look like. Nothing that we change inside the settings will alter what the player looks like on the actual browser. So if we open up our settings now, our options, we can see that at the bottom there there's a section that says preview color and we can change this to a number of different colors. And this is purely designed to give the designer the ability to see kind of what the widget is going to look like inside the browser. But as I said before, this only renders in the design screen of Adobe Muse like this. So it doesn't alter at all the colors or the look of the Vizar player in the actual browser. This is just for design purposes. So now we're going to take a look at some more of our settings. And the top setting is the Bizarre Video ID. You now, now you can click on the link down the bottom of the panel to open up the Bizarre Video dashboard. And we've already done this and pulled up the video that we want to find. And the Bizarre Video ID for this particular video, we can see that it's at the end of the URL here, 2260664. So we're going to copy it from there. But it also is in a number of other places. It's in the embed code and it's in these advanced video links. So now that we've copied that code, we're going to go back into our options and paste that in there. Below that is the reference title. And again, this is just to give the designer an idea of what video is going to be shown in this player. So you could change that. We're going to put in there, let's take a look at the video that we're using. It is called Thistle. So for, for a good point of reference for us, we're going to change that there to Thistle. And when we tab or enter through that, we see now that Thistle is in the preview of the Bizarre Video Player. And this is good because it, if we had a number of videos that we dragged onto the screen, we would be able to differentiate and see where each one was. The next option down is the video size. And there's three options that we've created. And the reason that we've created three options and not let it just be a uh, user-defined option is so that it keeps the scale of the video player correct. So we have small, medium, and large. Because this is on a desktop, I'm going to change this to the large version. And here we see that it's just increased the size of it and just center that a little bit. Now, if we were to now want to, say, decide that we didn't want the large and go down to the small, we'd see that it would create our small poster preview, but we can see that the box enclosed around this is still the large version. So we would just use the drag handles to drag and resize that, and there we go. It would be in the correct area now. We're going to choose the large for this particular video, and I'm just going to turn it back to the green. Like I said, it doesn't really mean anything, but just for design purposes. And there we go. So here we have the large video with Thistle written in there. And now we're going to do a quick preview to make sure that this pulls up the right video. So we're going to go to Preview Page in Browser. And here we go. And as you can see, the actual video player it's playing in right now is the video player from Bazaar, not our poster HTML one. And we'll just click play on that just to make sure it's all working right. Yes, that's fine. We see here that we have our full screen button, our volume, and our download button. There's all the buttons that we've predefined in Vizar. And that's how to use this particular widget. Now we're going to take a look at the Vizar playlist widget. 
So we've clicked on it inside this month's widgets. I'm going to drag it onto the screen, and again this is on the des a desktop layout. And here we go. And again, we've got the poster HTML render that is just for design purposes and uh, shows up just to give us an idea of what the real version will look like. We can change in the options here the color of that to any color that would be matching or complementary to the design that we were making personally. We've got a reference title again of the playlist and then we've got a playlist video ID. We're going to open up our browser and I've already got it opened up to our playlists. And here are our royalty free playlist we can see that the playlist ID is 7967. So we're going to open up our options, change this to 7967, and change this to royalty free. And again, this reference title, if we had a number of different playlists on the page, this would help us to differentiate and be able to see which ones were which. So we've got that done. And now we're going to test this in the browser. And here we go. Very nice. It's pulled up our playlist. So that's all working very nicely. So now we're going to look at our last widget, our Vizar audio player. So we're back to our blank muse page. And we're going to select and then drag our Vizar audio player onto the screen. And again, we have a preview of what the audio player will look like just on our screen um, so that we can have an idea of what it's going to look like. Then we go to our options and again we are looking for Vizar video ID and video title and then our last option we can change the color as we could with the other Vizar widgets. So for this widget you're going to want to have uploaded an mp3 file to your Vizar online video hosting, not a video. It will only work if you've uploaded an audio file, an MP3. Now, that being said, we have uploaded an MP3, and it's one of Churchill's famous speeches. And again, we can grab the ID from the URL at the top of the page. So we're going to select and copy that, paste that into the Vizar Video ID option, and then as the title, we're going to put Churchill. And again, putting the title is very beneficial if you had a number of players on the screen so that you could see which player was for which and you could organize them the way you wanted to. So now that's done, we're going to take a look and we're going to preview this in the browser. And it looks good. And we're going to click play. And my microphone. The great air battle, which had been in progress over this island. And my microphone probably picked up just a little bit of that, so yes, it sounded right, and we're happy with that. So that's how to use the Vizar video playlist and audio player widgets. Thanks for watching.